I want to get into insurance. Now, this is not a super sexy topic, okay? But insurance has been all the headlines lately. And I think you need to know about insurance. I think you need to make educated decisions when it comes to insurance with your investment properties or your primary residence, even with your vehicles and other things like health insurance, like life insurance. You guys, all these costs have been going up and insurance is a real part of our budgets every month. I know my wife and I track our budgets and it's like, okay, we're paying this much insurance that that's coming out at this time of the month. You guys, so we need to always be tracking this topic in general. So <clears throat> what do I do when I want to dive deep into a topic? I talk to the expert. Brian McLean at InsureLogic is my go-to guy. If you want to, uh, to get in touch with Brian or need a go-to guy in insurance, reach out, comment, hit me up personally on any of my social media. I will connect you with Brian. He's awesome. <clears throat> and he taught me some, he taught me the points today in, in order to educate me on the insurance industry. The biggest question is why are insurance costs going up so much? And you guys, the answer for that first question, why is insurance so expensive right now? And why is it going up? Is because the same cereal you buy at the grocery store has gone up three bucks. The fair life chocolate milk that we always get at our house has gone up uh, at 30% in price. Guys, because of that, when you have an insurance claim, let's say your car runs into another car and it was an accident, the ice, you guys collided. The cost in order to tow your vehicle to the repair shop, that went up 30%. You guys, the parts that it takes to replace your vehicle, those costs went up. The people they employ to replace those parts that they get, their wages went up. You guys, so all of these other factors and increases in costs around the other industries have an effect, have an effect on insurance prices. And so when you have a shingle uh, fly away and peel back all the shingles on the top of your house and you need the roof replacement because of wind or hail, the, the cost of shingles has gone up 30, 40%. The people that are laying the shingles have, that labor has gone up. You guys, so those insurance costs for the insurance companies have gone way up when they do these claims. And because of that, they're squeezed down and they have to raise premiums, okay? And that's trickling down to the consumers to the point where insurance say, uh, companies are leaving certain states that have high claim rates because they can't operate profitably in those states anymore. North Dakota being one of them because we don't have a huge population density. You guys, so that's why costs are going up. And until we see labor prices and material prices come way down, these prices might be here to stay. That's the harsh reality. Okay, <clears throat> number two thing I want you to know about insurance is captive insurance versus independent insurance. Okay, there's two types of insurance agencies out there. You might be used to the classic Geico commercial or progressive commercial. You guys, when it comes to our local, you can go direct to those companies, but there's certain insurance companies that only sell their own product, like a state farm, like a farmer's, like American family. They only sell state farm insurance. They only sell farmer's insurance. They only sell American family insurance products. Whereas you can go, that's a captive insurance company. <clears throat> and those insurance agents. Whereas if you go to an in independent brokerage in local brokerage, or like I said, Brian McLean is an independent agent. He's able to quote multiple different carriers for the best price and best coverage. So I think Brian has access to over 20 carriers that have coverage and he can sh price shop and coverage shop. And, and some of those companies that he price shops are companies like Progressive, are companies like Auto Owners, are companies like uh, AAA, are companies like Geico and these different, uh, what's another uh, uh, statewide, I think there was one called, you know, so there's a lot of other insurance carriers out there that Brian can kind of get a lay of the land on and, and kind of price match against each other. And so in what works best for me is to talk to someone that's an independent agent to try to shop price and make maneuvers on our rental properties or primary assets so we can always be monitoring prices, okay? So that's captive versus in independent insurance. And I don't think a lot of people know that. I mean, you guys, by the way, going direct to insurance companies like Progressive Online or any of these online insurance companies, generally it's not saving you any money than to have a insurance agent that you know, like, and trust in your area that you can text and, and incorporate into your game plan. So I'm a big proponent of finding your team. You guys know that, who, not how. So I really encourage you to find somebody in our market that can really give you kind of our market 
uh, style quoting and, and, and expertise uh, and match that with your insurance policies. Okay, number three, I wanna talk about self-insuring versus low deductible insurance, okay? I love the quote that Brian said when it comes to insurance. Insurance technically is more, it's, it's not to make sure you, it's more for not having a, not turning a bad day into a bad life. How did he say it? It used to be where insurance was just so you didn't have a bad life, right? If your house burns down and you can't afford that, that's going to put you out. It's going to put you in a horrible situation. Insurance has kind of moved towards just, I had a bad day. I want to file a claim. Okay. And now I think it's moving back towards that, all the, the rock chip in my windshield or the dent in my bumper that I'm going to file a claim on, or the one piece of siding that I want to get a whole siding claim on my house. You guys, those days, those prices are so expensive that they're going away and we're moving closer towards self-insurance again. And so if you want to decrease your premiums, you might have to raise your deductible and self-insure yourself more. So essentially saving money for accidents that might happen instead of always counting on that insurance policy. Back in the day, they didn't have insurance. You just had to have a big savings bucket. So if anything bad happened, you could survive. Now, thankfully, we have coverage on our homes. We have coverage on our expensive vehicles. So we don't have to have a turn a bad day into a bad life. But we're going to move closer towards people self-insuring rather than low deductible. Because why? Those low deductible insurance policies are very, very expensive monthly and yearly. Okay, so I would encourage you, if you're being financially diligent, you have that emergency fund, you have some savings, some investments, and you can move towards self-insurance, call your insurance agent. Ask about lowering, lowering your premium monthly by raising your deductible numbers and see if you can get more attractive pricing that way. Okay, so there's our, those are our three points. Why carrier costs have gone up, captive versus independent insurance, and self-insuring versus low deductible insurance policies and the options you have there. You guys, I hope that helps you. This is a very relevant topic for investors. This is a very relevant topic for anybody owning a home. And I just want to bring you into that.